Constituents of mine uh, in Kent this week, displaying symptoms of COVID, were advised to go for tests to, to Bude in Cornwall and, and Galashiels uh, in Scotland. Uh, and this is in a mild September, uh, before the autumn and winter, when people have coughs and colds that may look like symptoms uh, of COVID. Uh, and it's no good blaming people who are asymptomatic. I'd be interested if Secretary of State can say what percentage of people uh, are turning up uh, for testing uh, that don't have symptoms. Uh, I think this needs his personal grip. He referred to uh, the need for him to increase testing capacity from uh, 1,000 a day to 100,000 a day. Uh, this is an urgent matter. It needs a grip before the autumn uh, bites, the autumn winter bites. Uh, will he commit by the end of the month to make sure that anyone that has symptoms of COVID can get a test at a reasonable place uh, convenient uh, to their home. That is, of course, my, uh, of course my goal. It's my goal for that to happen immediately. Uh, and the, the challenge is both to increase the capacity, a subject that uh, my brother and I have discussed at length, uh, and I know he's a strong uh, supporter of. It, it's also a matter of making sure that capacity is used by the right people. And this is why I am clear about the eligibility for testing. And it's really important that people uh, hear that message, uh, that if you have symptoms, of course, you should get a test. We urge you to get a test, because we, um, uh, we need to find out if that is COVID, for your sake and for everybody's. But at the same time, it is important that people who are not eligible do not come forward uh, for those uh, tests, because otherwise you're taking a test away from somebody who has symptoms. And yes, absolutely, the best, you know, I want to solve this with more, uh, ever more capacity, but I also want to make sure the tests are used by the right people.